Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Greatness, and today we have uh, the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. This is uh, Season 1, Episode 2, Part 3. And uh, yeah, so in the last episode, uh, we uh, had a, I want to say, um, memorable moment with uh, Rocket and, uh, and with all that. Um, and we're now chasing after Gamora's sister, and and that whole entire thing so that's still going and um yeah so i mean if you if you haven't watched previous uh videos on on this series please go back and and watch them because i mean it's just it's just potential spoilers and stuff like that and just the fact that it's just a really good game so uh if you've obviously clicked on this video you're obviously somewhat interested and yeah um i would definitely recommend watching it from the start to um to end just purely because of like story purposes and stuff like that and yeah the game's actually really good itself so um it's probably just better off you probably watching from the start till to to however many videos i have out on it um uh just as as i said um just to make sure that you're up to date and that you don't get spoiled on what happens and um but yeah, I guess with with all that said, obviously all all, all of those guys have gone, and uh, yes, yeah, so I guess um, I guess we'll now start playing the game. So this is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy season one, episode two, part three, and uh, yeah, let's start it. All right, here we go. All right, so we're now. Um, oh, go away. Yeah, so we're now. I refuse to accept your help or your pity. Mm. I'd rather die here. I failed, Father. Again. Leave me here. I'm not leaving you behind, Nebula. I don't care how much mm. you need. You just want to play out your little guardian's fantasy. Be the hero. Peter? Your sister's being difficult, Gamora. Throwing herself a real pity party. Oh, there's gotta be an emergency release on here somewhere. Mm. Oh. Really, bro? Just dead center. Oh. Damn, is she a robot? So now we're going back to the ship, so... Alright, there we go. So we're not only got our Nebula um, on the ship, but she's uh, safe and sound, uh, except for her arm. Because she now only has one arm now. That's, uh... You yeah, really don't know what to say about that. I don't like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. We have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan over mm. cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula mm. to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Yeah. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Good thing she's unarmed. Am I right? <laughs> oh my god. I actually didn't read the whole thing. Rocket may be able to get her on the uh, That was not good. Leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> Good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. Hey, no need for violence here. We can barter with her. Nebula wants her arm back, so let's use that to our advantage. I do not like this plan. Mm. 
You okay to go in there? Frankly, no. I'm not okay. I wanted to reconnect with Nebula. You told me to reconnect with her. And then this happens. Maybe she'll come around someday, but... I can't see her wanting to reconcile anytime soon. Hmm. So, here's the deal, Nebula. You've got a bit of a missing arm problem, and I've got a way to fix that. So, you interested in a trade? I'm listening. Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? Mm. How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I don't know. That's what you're here for. Oh, really? I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. I was serious about this. Mm -hmm. Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing, and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you. You have to rub it in my face, too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let mm. this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Look, I know you're upset. I'm sorry about your dad. No, you are not. Hey, I'm... I'm trying to apologize here. I do not want your apology. That's enough, mm. Nebula. You pass judgment on me, on my father, but I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarball, but I haven't. I'm warning you, never, never to speak the name. Tarball. Tarball. I'll get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her. Don't be ridiculous, Nebula. I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk. No, I can't. I'd like yeah, to I have to side with Gamora on this one. I think Gamora's got the right idea, actually. Ah, uh. uh, real mature. You both should watch your backs. Shackles won't keep me tethered for long. And once I'm free, you'll be sorry. You're the one who will be sorry, Nebula. I won't go easy on you again. Leave Gamora. Alone. I can fight my own battles, Peter. I don't need your help. Oh, poor Star Lord. Sounds like she doesn't care about you. And you can stop twisting my words, sister. Star Lord, the scan found something a strange device in the cyborg's skull. Nebula, I know. I know you hate me. And maybe that mm. will never change. But I have to try. I am trying. One call isn't enough. It's a start, though, isn't it? I can't wait to see your face when you lose everything. When I take what you took from me, you'll have to watch as everyone you care about dies. Then maybe we'll be even. Gamora, put the sword away. You don't want to do this. Mm. Yeah, Gamora, listen to... That I don't mind. There. Just the killing part, because I think we need her alive. Oh. Mm. I almost... I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. Are you kidding? That was awesome! Uh... Are you mm. serious? I see you tried my plan. The important thing... is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So... Mm. That is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. Alright, so how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Mm. OK. 
Okay. It says... Come find me in the temple. Helpful. Did we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I... died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find mm -hmm. me. Who do you think he is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Novacore bodies that Thanos put there. It's gotta be whatever is sending me these visions. Mm. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Exactly. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. Mm. Where's Rocket? We're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. Hang on. I'll call him. Hey, Rocket? Mm -hmm. We need you up here. I think you can handle a freaking temple without me. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Mm. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. So I did say that. She's my sister, Drax. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes. I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You're the one who told me to reconnect with her. Mm -hmm. Now that she's here, I deserve that opportunity. And I'll make sure she stays out of trouble. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Nah, no, we'll go with Gamora. You should stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. Maybe it'll give you a chance to talk. Thank you, Peter. You... You side with her again, Peter Quill. Perhaps I truly have no purpose. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. Mmm, shit. I am Groot. Find me in the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us. Alright. Yeah, let's just hope that it's just like not a trap or someone sending visions that um, want me captured. I, uh... <laughs> I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, find me in the temple. So, here we are. In a temple. Mm -hmm. Again. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I am here. As is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. You've been over this track. Max. So, why don't we just spread out? Look for secret doors or passages or whatever. Mm. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. Oh, crap. What's she doing here? Star Lord, it's Hala! Oh, my God! Oh God, why? I saved you. That was a hologram, you big dope. Look. Mm. 
Where did they go? They went up. Okay. So it seems like we need to go up here. Looks like some kind of button. Mm. Okay. So much for that. Okay. Oh, there's a couple of them. Huh. Nothing from this one either. Mm. No button on this one. Mm, maybe this on over here. No. Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Nothing from this one either. them at the same time oh okay so I need to pick up either Groot or Drax yeah we'll pick up Drax because um he was the one that um, we need to do a favor for soon otherwise Quill, he may leave the group I apologize for my outburst on the ship However, I should have been the one to guard the cyborg instead of Gamora. Gamora has too much of an attachment to her sister. She might let her feelings get in the way. This mission here is super important, Drax. I needed you by my side. No other place I'd want you to be. I couldn't let you guard Nebula and come on this mission. Can't have your cake and eat it too, you know. You are right. I could not do both. I just wanted to share my thoughts, and I am confident I would be able to eat many cakes. Mm -hmm. You see that bad boy? He does not seem particularly ill-tempered. Uh, look, whatever, fine. Just press the button on his helmet when I say so, okay? Yep. All right. You okay? Okay. One, two, three. What happened? You went early. No, I didn't. One, two, three, go. I was waiting for the go. Oh, fine. One, two, three, go. It's mm. Christmas. All right. Check this out. That definitely looks like the Eternity Forge. Mm. And those souls are being absorbed by it. That's why it didn't work for Rocket. It wasn't charged. Push this. And here is where Hala failed. No eternity forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. Oh. What does it say? 
Hang on. Let's see if Nebula's cipher was worth all the trouble. Alright. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Huh. Mm. So, this is not the correct temple? We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called Emnios. The symbols are a star name. <laughs> I know how to get there. <laughs> Gamora. Peter. Whoever we're looking for isn't here, but we figured out where to find him. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, about that. Rocket's down in the engine room. He's uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk to him. Mm, Alright, so we'll do that. Should we tell them about what we found or not? Probably not, just to not get his hopes up. Hey, what's your problem? I was a little bit aggressive. I'll admit that. I don't. I don't. Hey, hey, hmm. hey, hey! What's what's going on? Talk to me. I didn't uh, didn't want you to uh, to see. She's gone. She was the only thing keeping me alive. Mm. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't... I couldn't help her. You can't blame yourself for what happened. It's not your fault. Mm. I keep telling myself that. <sighs> but I don't know. She wanted to fight back. She never saw. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. Mm -hmm. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could. But I can't. I can't. You can, Rocket. Mm -hmm. You can do this. You're stronger than you think you are. No, I'm not. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. Damn. I don't know where to go with this one. I want her or time to let her go. Hold you on should on. hold on to it, Rocket. It means a lot to you. <laughs> What's going on? Get the Eternity Forge, keep it safe. Go mm -hmm. help Rocket. What are you gonna do? Oh, 
about some fresh air? Oh, that's right. There's no air in space. Oops. Wait! Let me fight. You trapped me on this piece of junk, and now we're surrounded by pissed-off Kree. I don't want to die here, and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me, too. Let me out. Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed. It's your only option. Let me fight, and those Kree are dead in minutes. Sorry. You can't do that. I can't take that chance. You're making a mistake. Maybe. But maybe not. Quill! Uh, I mean, you were trying to twist words before, so it's not like, uh... It's not like some you... Invisible enemies. You tried to... Uh, put, put me in a situation where you wanted, wanted to escape and leave, so... You okay? Tracks! Not okay. Okay, so he's probably just knocked out. Gamora! B about time you showed up. said it better myself. And that is the engine room. Rocket! I'll keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back up. Yeah. Alright, so that's the uh, uh, end of the video. Uh, please make sure to stay tuned for more content uh, as it arrives. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave it at that. So if you like the video, please like the video. And if you want more, more content, please subscribe. And would like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all in another video. Thanks.